Hey guys, welcome to this session by Intellipath. In today's market, the consumer's need for more and more is ever rising. And our traditional software development methodologies are just not built for this. We need a methodology which can handle them. And this is where Agile comes in, our topic for the day. Okay guys, before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future updates. Okay guys, now let's take a quick look at our agenda. First, we will discuss what the Agile manifesto is and why do we need to use Agile in the first place. And then we will learn what exactly Agile is. After which, we will talk about the different concepts of Agile. And finally, we will conclude by discussing how we can implement Agile ourselves and how does it actually work. Also guys, if you're looking for end-to-end -end training in Agile, we do provide the same. For any further details, please check out the links given in the description below. Now let's start the session. Let's start off by discussing what issues does Agile help us resolve. Now, to discuss this, first we have to go and look at the previous methodology that was used. Now traditionally, waterfall model is the one that was used for software development. Now the waterfall model consists of various phases. You have your requirements phase, your design phase, implementation phase, testing phase, deployment phase and maintenance phase. Now waterfall model as a whole promotes a very long term development life cycle and it was used to develop monolithic applications instead of the microservices we have these days. And this is where the issues start to develop. As you can see with waterfall, you need a very long time to develop a particular software. These days, this is not feasible as the demand for software is crazy high and we need to be able to change according to the market's needs and, you know, develop software every other month or so. And because of these issues, a new particular software methodology were created to tackle the issues. And this is where Agile comes in. So with Agile, you're not creating software in a very long period, whereas you'll be doing it in multiple sprints. You will start off with the four phases like planning, implementing, testing, reviewing. Now you'll create one of the components of the software. And once you're done with that, you will move on to create the next component. And similarly, you would go ahead and create the software as a whole. Now, in this manner, you're completing the software as well as providing the different components of software to the customer, getting a feedback and changing accordingly. Considering in all of these factors, Agile's ability to change and adapt with the market, satisfy the market's needs and do so in a very short term. You know, all of these factors combined make Agile very suited for developing software these days. All right, guys, now call Agile a methodology, but in actuality, it's rather a set of values and principles. If you use these values and principles to make decision, then you're working in an agile manner. So rather than being a methodology, it's rather a basically set of values and principles that you have to follow if you want to be agile. Now let's go ahead and discuss those values, those agile values. So they come under agile manifesto. So the agile manifesto basically states that we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. Through this work, we have come to value certain things. Now, those what are those certain things are the values. Now, what I'm going to do here is show you the left side compared to the right side. And this is how it's listed in the manifesto also. You'll have a few values on the left side and you'll have a values on the right side. While we have posted these values, we try to say that the left side values have much more meaning than the right side values. That is while there is value in the items on the right also, we just value the items on the left more. Let me start off by giving you an example. So we have individuals and interactions and processes and tools. So individuals and interactions are on the left side and processes and tools are on the right side. So even though we do value processes and tools, we just value individuals and the interactions these individuals have between each other even more than the processes and tools involved. And this is the value that Agile promotes. This is the part of the Agile manifesto. Now there are similarly three more values. So let's discuss them also. We have working software and comprehensive documentation. Here we value working software over having a comprehensive documentation, which is kind of obvious, right? Because you need to have a functioning software that you're going to provide to your customer before you even have any type of documentation, before you even think about going for documentation. And this is what Agile promotes. And again, customer collaboration is valued more than contract negotiation. So we want to prioritize the feedback we get from customers and apply it into our software development over any type of contract that we're going to be signing with them. This is another value that Agile promotes. And the final value that Agile promotes is basically responding to change. We value responding to change 
more than following a plan because agile is suited for you know ever changing market and that's why responding to a change has greater value than following a plan quick info here guys if you're looking for end to end training in agile we do provide the same for any further details please check out the links given in the description below and now let's continue with the session so guys these are the different values that are promoted in agile in the manifesto if you ever read it by yourself you will see that basically every item on the left has more value than the item on the right this does not mean that the items on the right are not valued is this that the items on the left are, have just a lot more value and that's why have, we have to follow them every time we are trying to make a decision so whenever you make a decision you have to keep these values in mind now let's discuss the different principles that agile promotes so we have the first principle that states that our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software the second principle states that welcome changing requirements even late in development agile processes harness change for customers competitive advantage then the third principle says that deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with preference to shorter time scale then the fourth principle states that business people and developers must work daily throughout the project and the fifth principle states that build project around motivated individuals give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done the next principle states that the most efficient and effective method of of conveying information to and within the a development team is face to face conversation the next principle states that working software is the primary measure of progress then agile processes promote sustainable development the sponsors developers and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely the ninth principle says that continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility then simplicity the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential and the second last principle states that the best architectures requirements and designs emerge from self organizing teams and the final principle basically tells us that at regular intervals the team reflects on how to become more effective then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly So guys these were the different principles that agile promotes now remember if you want to be an agile team then you have to make all of your decisions based on these principles and based on the values that agile promotes otherwise you are not an agile team all right now let's look at the different benefits that agile provides us so the first benefit is basically transparency now this is pretty clear by the idea of transparency itself if you are transparent in your development process then the customer or the client knows what you're doing they have more trust in you because you'll be telling them what you're doing and you'll be doing this as you'll be providing them software every other sprint they'll know what kind of software they're getting and accordingly they provide you a feedback and you will improve upon the next iteration by using that feedback in your planning stage then comes predictable costs and schedule Now since agile promotes very short term development life cycles the number of variables that will be there when you're calculating the costs and schedule will be less and hence you'll able to predict the costs and schedule all the tasks much more efficiently now another benefit and it's a primary benefit is that it allows for change now the values and principles that agile tells us about basically promote for change because if you are able to adapt and change according to the market then you're able to increase your business profits as well as satiate the market's needs or as well as satisfy your customer or client and then in the end it helps us to improve the quality of the product overall not just the polishing aspect you increase the morale of your employees you increase the morale of your team and this way they want to make a better product and hence a better product is made so these are the benefits of agile now let's move on and see how we can implement agile ourselves now whenever you're going ahead with implementing agile you have to keep in mind that any decision you take has to be based on the values and principles set by agile otherwise you're not going to be having an agile development all right so when you're going ahead with these principles and values set in your mind you have to follow the normal sprints now there're going to be a lot of practices that you'll have to choose from now one of the practices is to having a sprint where you you have a small sprint small iteration where you develop a small component of the software and give it to the client so you'll first plan it out 
work, then design it, then develop it, then test it, then deploy it, then review it from your own feedback, from the customer's feedback, from the client's feedback, then launch it. And you know, then move on to the next iteration. Now this is a part of the practice of Agile. So there are a lot of Agile practices out there. You have uh, daily stand-up, sprints, splitting user stories, pair programming, and test-driven development. Now, you can go ahead and choose any practice you want to. But remember, you have to choose these practices based on your own needs and based on the values and principles that have been set by Agile or that have been promoted by Agile. Otherwise, you're not Agile or you're not following an Agile development. And hence, you won't get the benefits of Agile. So keep this in mind when you're going ahead with any of the practices of Agile, all right? Now let's move on and discuss the different frameworks of Agile. So with Scrum, you're focusing more on the openness, the focus, the commitment, the courage, and the respect for different people. Whereas in Lean, you're trying to focus on eliminating all the waste, amplifying as much as learning as possible, decide as late as possible, deliver as fast as possible, empower the whole team, build integrity in the team, then see the whole process through. And in Kanban, you're basically focusing on reducing multitasking, decreasing the waste overall produced, then putting the customer's needs first and basically return of investment or ROI. So these are the different frameworks. Now, when you go ahead to implement Agile, you need to first think of all the basic principles and values that have been set by Agile. Then see what suits you the best, what kind of environment. Then check out the different frameworks. Now, these are just three most popular frameworks out there. There are a lot more frameworks. You can go through them. You can decide which one is the best for you. Then choose that particular framework. And guys, that's Agile. Whether you want to call it a methodology or whether you want to call it a set of principles or values, it basically helps us to create really good software. Quick info here guys, if you're looking for end-to-end -end training in Agile, we do provide the same. For any further details, please check out the links given in the description below. Okay guys, this brings us to the end of the session. If you have any queries, please leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you at the earliest. Thank you for watching.